we'll be back at those tables behind us once we're done with Coach Sark. Are we ready to go? Well, obviously, some uh, some pretty big changes to the staff. Anytime you hire uh, five new coaches to your staff, there's uh, a lot of moving parts that take place uh, from the standpoint of um, not only just a, from a football coach standpoint, but a recruiting standpoint. Um, a personality standpoint, a character standpoint. And I think with all five of these guys, uh, they all fit that role really, really well. And I'll touch on each of them individually, uh, but I, but I want to say just in general, couldn't be more excited to have these guys on board, um, having them now for some of them a month, some of them for a couple weeks. Um, I think they've, they've already left an impression upon me and other people around the, around the university of the type of people that they are the type of recruiters that they are, and now in just a short amount of time, the type of football coaches that they are and some of the knowledge and their ability to communicate in those things in meetings in a short amount of time. Um, obviously bringing in uh, Justin Wilcox from Tennessee, a guy that I've followed his, his career here very closely, um, a guy with Northwest ties who's done uh, a lot of good work here in a short amount of time in his coaching career from Tennessee to Boise to Cal. Um, I think he bring, he's one of the, the bright, young defensive minds in our profession. Um, on top of that, brings a, a tremendous reputation from a recruiting standpoint. Um, so we're excited to have Justin coming from Tennessee with Justin. Peter Sermon, another guy with Northwest ties from the east side of the state, um, who, um, again, with his wealth of experience from playing uh, in the National Football League and then his coaching experience at Tennessee with Justin, his knowledge of the defense, uh, I think was a big part of this to bring that in. And then obviously, again, from the recruiting side of it all, the guys, I've already nicknamed him the minor. I mean, he puts on a hard hat and he's got a light on. He goes <laughs> in his office and starts working on recruiting and, and uh, have seen uh, and seen the benefits of that in a short amount of time as well. Uh, also, the addition of uh, Keith Hayward, uh, corner, uh, defensive back coach uh, from Oregon State. Again, um, what, what Keith did at Oregon State, um, you, you just look at sheer numbers and what he did going into that place uh, and how they played in the back end uh, at such a high level. Um, I'm just excited to see what he can do with our guys. You know, I think that uh, what some of the players have achieved, you know, two players already playing in the NFL, uh, another one who was two all-conference players this year, one all-conference, one honorable mention. Um, and then the ties to Los Angeles, the recruiting ties that he brings. Again, we're seeing the benefits of that. Uh, the addition of Tosh Lupoy on the defensive line. Um, Tosh, quite honestly, has been a, been a thorn in my side for probably about the last five <laughs> or six years in the recruiting front. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the old adage, you know, if you can't beat them, get them to join you, right? And so uh, it took a little longer than I would have liked, but we got Tosh on board. And I think so much of, of what can be said about Tosh, everyone wants to talk about the recruiting aspect of it all, but he's a tremendous football coach. Uh, you look at what his defensive lines have done there at Cal uh, in recent history, um, I think speaks to the volume of, yeah, he's a tremendous recruiter and he works at it, uh, but he's also an excellent football coach, and I think we'll see that here in time. Uh, and then finally, the addition of Eric Kesaw as offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, another guy who I've followed his career here, um, extensively kind of grown up in the profession at the same time with Eric. Eric being a uh, receiver coach at Cal, going on to Colorado, being a coordinator, going back to Cal, coordinating there, and now ultimately joining us here. I think um, from a philosophical standpoint, uh, you know, Key brings a lot of similarities to what we already do offensively, but yet can bring some new ideas and things to enhance what we're doing offensively. And then again, from a recruiting aspect. So I think the common theme here with all these guys um, they're young, they're bright, they're energetic coaches. They, they provide a, a, a great amount of knowledge from a football standpoint, and ultimately they're all tremendous recruiters. So um, couldn't be more excited to have them. Uh, it's fun to the fact that we've gotten through the recruiting signing period and now we're getting into some football stuff, and it's been fun as a new staff. And so ultimately the challenges for myself are going to be to uh, not just incorporate these guys to our staff, but really get this – camaraderie and the cohesiveness that I think can be there. Um, I, th I think it speaks volumes to um, 
our current staff members who, who are left on board here uh, and their willingness to, to bring these guys in and welcome them with open arms. I think we're seeing that. So, uh, again, excited. Um, don't take them too long here. we got new hoops to go play, so uh, have at